Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMAC. Here is the continuation on the painting tutorial on the hair of wool. And here we are painting actually the locks of wool on this tutorial. And the brushes are the 20-0 and a 5-0 detail here momentarily. You will be seeing it. And also we will be using the flat shader and the size on it I will put that down in the description below and the colors we are still using the phalo blue titanium white and the burnt umber and I will list the colors down in the description below. Now with the locks of wool I want to tell you all that I have to put these little lines in and the value will be toned down much much more. But this is to sort of just get the locks started. But this value, again, I want to reiterate that. We will be toning that down much more. It's sort of a bleeding effect, I call it. And I'm just gathering up some more paint here on the brush for the hair. And as I was saying, that bleeding effect that you will be seeing momentarily, or perhaps that will be on into our next tutorial, actually. Uh, we want to keep the value of the hair snow white. White is snow. And again, I did say this before, but when we're coming in around the temple area, we do want to come in more so. And here on the right hand side, I am putting in that darker value for now to actually just give me a marker. So when I come in with the titanium white, you will be seeing it have the snow white. As it says in the prophecy, uh, Jesus will have hair white is snow so for the white is snow effect to take place I will be having to have somewhat of a darker value in with the titanium white
We will be having another tutorial on the hair of wool and we are going to be using our new horse template. It is hanging up in the studio so we can use the horse template while painting the horse. And it will help you all get a better understanding on horses. Because we haven't did a lot of drawing here on the channel on horses and some of this, the things that you all see being painted. But in time, we will be doing a lot of drawing. And up here, you can't really see what I'm doing really clearly, but it is the same as what I'm doing down here with the hair. And the eyes of fire, they are not finished. But again, like I said, when painting with oil, you do have to allow more time to dry than you actually spend painting. Okay, everyone, that was it on this tutorial, and stay tuned for our next painting tutorial. And as always, and until we meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.